Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Tarot Celebrity with your boy, Ducky. Today, we're going to be reading some cards for Wang Yibo and a little bit of Zhao Lucy. Um, so we're going to do Wang Yibo and Zhao Lucy's connection with one another. And then we're just going to do a more focused reading on Wang Yibo. Uh, first and foremost, I do want to apologize if I'm mispronouncing their names. My intention is not to, uh, you know, mess up their names on purpose. I'm going to do the best that I can. Um, I have done readings on them before, so I know a little bit of how I've pronounced them in the past. And so hopefully I can be consistent. Uh, Anyway, remember to keep in mind that these videos are for entertainment purposes, and why is that? That is because we do not have Wang Yibo nor Zhao Lucy here to confirm nor deny that what I'm seeing in the cards and how I'm interpreting the cards is resonating with them or is not resonating with them. So just remember to take these videos with a grain of salt, and without further ado, let's get started on their reading. So let's start with... Wang Yibo and Zhao Lucy's connection together. When they're together, what is their combined energy like? We got the star in reverse. Hmm. Hmm. All right, let's keep going. And the ace of wands in reverse. There's some inaction that happened between the two of them uh, that has caused a little bit of like maybe negativity or like pessimism, um, not being satisfied with how things happened maybe, um, but I'll get more into it. Also, I apologize if you hear noise in the background. Um, my dog likes to bark at the lawnmower and my dad's mowing the lawn right now. So, um, and also please excuse my my voice. I forgot to take my allergy medicine, so I'm a little stuffy. And we got the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Hmm. So their combined energy with the star showing up here in reverse. You know, the star is all about feeling hopeful, feeling positive about your goals about you what you want to achieve but when this card comes in reverse along with this ace of wands in reverse there's a little bit of inaction you know the ace of wands the suit of wands is all about your goals your dreams your desires um and also it can talk about your career um and so it could talk about beginning something new but when it comes in reverse there's a little bit of a nothing came out of it you know whenever they're together i feel like there was a lack of action there was a lack of desire maybe or a lack of wanting to make a move uh which caused some maybe negative mindsets or just pessimism or feeling like oh i guess like that's that wish uh, has gone away, you know, that that hope has gone away. Um, and it's because there's a lack of wanting to pursue or 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 d make that action, you know. Um, the Four of Pentacles here in reverse is also telling me that there's a little bit of that wanting to hold on tightly to things. So I feel like Wang Yibo and Zhao Lucy, maybe they held on very tightly to themselves um maybe they didn't want to change things and so that's why there's a lack of progressive movement or action here between the two of them that has caused some hopes to go away some dreams to go away um but yeah you know the four of pentacles talks about holding on to things a little bit too tightly um and yeah, that's just kind of what I'm seeing. Like maybe they like their friendship uh, and so they just held on to their friendship and they didn't want to make any other movements um, to possibly see if there's anything more between the two of them. 
Um, but yeah, there's that's what's going on here. Now, let's do a little bit of Wang Yi Bo and his thoughts when he thinks of Zhao Lucy. What comes to his mind? We got the Ace of Cups. No. And at the bottom of the deck, we got Strength in Reverse. Oh. Also, I bought this deck last week and I wanted to show y'all. So I hope y'all are enjoying this. This one is called Healing Light Tarot. It's really pretty. I want to use it with the black light one day. Um, Alright, Zhao Lucy's thoughts on Wang Yibo. We got the King of Cups. Fun fact, that's my card of the day. Um, and at the bottom of the deck, we got the three of wands wow all right so let's start with Zhao lucy why not um so we got king of cups with the three of wands here when Zhao lucy thinks of wang yibo she thinks that he is very emotionally sensitive he taps into his emotions and he has a lot of emotional depth to offer um, also here, there's a lot of opportunities that Zhao Lucy sees or thinks of. When she thinks of Wang Yibo, she thinks of maybe some, there are some opportunities for him that are great. Um, especially because he's very emotionally in tune with himself. Um, uh, the, she notices that there's a lot of opportunities for him to, further on his career to progress so um also i could be seeing that when she thinks of uh wang yi bo zhao lucy she sees that like there could have been there's there could have been some opportunities here for the two of them to maybe i don't know um have something more uh and the reason why i'm thinking that is because we got uh on the other side we have wang yi bo and uh the Ace of Cups, when he thinks of Zhao Lucy, he thinks that she is just full of love. Um, she has a lot of love to give. Or he also feels very love loved. Whenever he thinks of Zhao Lucy, he, there's a sense of great emotional uh, connection here. But with the Strength card in reverse, I feel like... Wang Yibo maybe beats him, himself up a little bit. You know, the strength card in reverse talks about um, maybe giving in to your fears or not being strong enough to push through those fears. So when he thinks of Zhao Lucy, he thinks that like, man, like maybe I should have done something. Maybe I should have acted um, more on, you know, this passion or this emotional connection. Um, so he does kind of beat himself up a little bit is what I'm seeing with the strength card in reverse And that's also what I'm seeing with that star that showed up um, There's a little bit of a, a negative mindset and it's due to this inaction, right? And I feel like this inaction that happened is maybe Wang Yi Bo's inaction. Maybe his own fears, his own um, concerns caused him to not really make any movements and not want to um let go of of what they already had in fear of like maybe ruining it ruining the friendship that they had so that's kind of what i'm seeing um yeah so let's just get one card representing advice for both of them we got the Eight of Swords in reverse with a Chakra card. Let's get it. Let's do it. Perception. Ah, Beautiful. So Perception is a, is a Heart Chakra card, which is all about seeing, you know, the actions of other people. The advice that I'm seeing for the two of them is that they need to free themselves of these negative thoughts that they have with the star card showing up here in reverse. They need to free themselves of these negative thoughts of like, man, why didn't like anything progress from here? Why didn't we like continue being close friends or maybe seeing what happened further? Um, and they need to start seeing 
a different perception, seeing that, you know, the choices or the lack of action that other people have made um, is because they felt differently about something, you know, or, um, you know, sometimes we don't know or understand exactly why someone makes the decisions that they make. Um, and so the advice I'm seeing for them is to really try and see the other person's perception of like, why did you decide to make this decision? Or why did you decide to not do this? You know, why did you decide to take action here, but not take action there? And they need to really be open to seeing the other person's perception, their other person's reasonings for why they did what they did, or they didn't do what they did, didn't do. Um, and it's going to really help transform them with this little butterfly I'm seeing. It's going to really help change them and free themselves from these neg negative and self-limiting um, thoughts. So that's what I'm seeing for them. Now, let's go on to Wang Yibo's individual reading. So, all right, Wang Yibo. So I'm going to shuffle these cards. And I'm just going to quickly kind of go over his reading um, because, you know, I like to, I like to just um, keep these videos a little bit short because, you know, your boy Ducky is busy just like many of y'all are busy too. We all got multiple gigs, multiple things we're doing. So, uh, yeah. I'm doing this video because someone in the comments was like, I was hoping for a Wang Yi Bo reading. And I was like, no, I'm so sorry. So um, I am going to post later that I'm open to hearing suggestions again. Um, because I'm almost done with my list that I have of videos to do. So I need some more ideas. Um. I'm not guaranteeing that I'll do all of them, but I need more ideas of what y'all want to see. So let me know. Let your boy Ducky know. All right. Um, so Wang Yibo, what is his current energy like right now? We got the strength card showing up in reverse again for him. Yeah, he is feeling a little three of wands in reverse with a lack of opportunity. Yeah, he feels like. Right now, I feel like Wang Yibo is noticing there's a lack of opportunities for him in career, maybe in love. Just in general, there's a lacking of opportunities coming up for him. Um, and I think it's because maybe he's afraid. There's, a, there's this with the strength card in reverse. You're afraid to do things. You're afraid to overcome obstacles due to your own... Um, you know, maybe lack of motivation or lack of believing in yourself, believing in your strength. So if you are a fan of Wang Yibo, please send him some strength that he can recuperate himself and regain his strength um, so he can have more opportunities, more great opportunities come his way. So um, let's do... Let's draw some cards representing his love life what's going on in his love life oh yeah this card wanted to come out nine of cups that's good and the queen of wands in reverse okay hmm so in his love life there's a great emo great emotional pleasure going on here um so I don't want to disclose too much of what I'm thinking and what I'm seeing with the way that these two cards showed up, but I feel like Wang Yi Bo is emotionally very pleased in his love life. Um, I don't know if he's in a relationship or not, um, but I'm I am seeing that he's emotionally pleased. So maybe he has nine different people that he's 
emotionally pleasing himself with or maybe it's just one person maybe it's two but there is also a little bit of a sense of jealousy around his love life you know the queen of wands is very passionate she's very fiery she's very creative and artsy um, but when this card comes in reverse all that passion can become a little bit jealous can become a little bit possessive so there is maybe someone in his life that's a little bit maybe possessive over him maybe a little bit jealous um so yeah that's what i'm seeing but he's feeling very emotionally pleased i don't know if maybe he has other people who that he's seeing or that he's talking to but there also is someone in his love life or in his love energy that she might be a little bit jealous of like how emotionally good or pleased he is feeling so that's what i'm saying um now let's just finish off the video with some advice for wang yi bo um actually let's do career let's do a little bit of a quick career look at his energy we got the ace of wands in reverse yo a lot of these same cards are coming up with the Hierophant in reverse. Hmm. So in regards to his career, again, there's a lack of action. There's a maybe his fire feels burnt out. Maybe his passion is feeling a little bit drained. Uh, again, with this strength card that showed up with his overall energy and with the three of wands in reverse, there is a lack of of opportunities, there is a lack of action, there's a lack of motivation, and it's very apparent here in his career. Um, and there's a little bit of a rebelliousness to him right now in regards to his career. Maybe he's rebelling a little bit. Maybe he had some opportunities to do something in his career or to advance his career, but he might have said no or he might have declined it. Um, and he might have been like, no, I want to do something else, something different. He, so he's trying to do things his own way or he's rebelling or maybe he's wanting to do different types of roles or different types. Yeah, different types of roles, different types of things he's wanting to do in his career. But it's causing a little bit of a stagnant energy. There's a, there's a sense of stagnation here. Um, so. Let's get some advice for lovely Wang Yi Bo. Hermit. Whoa. With the Ten of Swords. Yeah, I believe this is the Ten of Swords. Yeah, that's what that looks like. It's a little bit hard because it doesn't say it, but I believe these are swords. Um, and it would make sense. I'm not sure, actually. It could be, no, it could be the Ten of Wands. I don't know, y'all. Let me look at this. Little booklet. So I can try and see. But it's not going to show, huh? It doesn't show pictures. Mm, I don't know. I'm going to assume... This is going to be the Ten of Wands, just because I'm noticing something on his back with the Ten of Wands being about feeling overburdened and, you know, carrying other people's weight um, over your shoulders. So that's just what my intuition is going by. You know, if you are a tarot reader, remember to tap into your to intuition and just go with... Um, what what you're feeling in your heart in your gut in your mind so the advice i'm seeing here let's get an oracle card as well complacency yeah so the advice here for wang yibo is with the root chakra card here complacency showing up um the advice for him is to not feel like he's being complacent, not feel that just because there is a lack of opportunities or a lack of options or things for him to do right now that he's being complacent, you know. Just because he's sitting still doesn't mean 
that everything around him has to stand or sit still and pause. You know, he could still be doing something while he's not doing anything in his career, if that makes sense, you know? Um, so the advice that I'm seeing here for him is to really listen to people that have ha have had more experience than him in regards to the field that he is in or the fields that he wants to pursue in his career. He definitely needs to kind of consider more of other people's advice um, and also kind of continue keeping to himself. You know, the hermit keeps to themselves, is gaining knowledge, is acquiring skills, you know, um, is learning. Um, yeah, and with the Ten of Wands coming up here as an advice card, the advice for him is to allow others to help him out with these difficulties, with these burdens. He doesn't always have to do everything himself. Um, he can also depend on other people. He can rely on other people, uh, especially since he's feeling a little bit complacent. He's feeling a little bit sad. Um, he's kind of... Con He's having a little bit of an ex existential crisis because maybe a lot of great things were going on for him and now there's not many opportunities for him to continue growing or improving or working on his craft. So he definitely, the advice I'm seeing for him is to really open up about these burdens that he has, open up about them to people that have been in his shoes or even that haven't been in his situation but have a lot of experience or a lot of life knowledge to give to him and to really take though that advice and apply it into his own life however he feels fits and suits him best so that's what i'm seeing for wang yibo if you are a fan of wang yibo please send him some love he's feeling a little bit down right now is what i'm seeing with the way that these cards showed up so Send him some strength, send him some love, uh, and that he's able to open up and rely on other people in regards to what's really bothering him, what's burdening him. And yeah, hopefully he'll be able to move past this. But the good thing is, is that emotionally in, in his love life, he's feeling pretty good. Maybe there's some, some jealous people around him in his love life. But overall, his love life seems to be the highest point in his life with what's going on right now. And like his career and overall other things, there's a lack of strength and lack of opportunities for him. But, you know, energy is always changing and constant. And so his career and stuff is going to get better. But he just there's just a little bit of a stagnant energy with his career right now and whatnot. So that's what I'm seeing for Wang Yibo and a little bit on Zhao Lucy's reading. So let me know what you thought of this video. Feel free to give me a thumbs up or thumbs down if you did not like the video. That's totally okay. This video ran a little bit longer than I was expecting, but that's also okay. Um, yeah, and let me know what types of videos you want to see. I do want to branch out from mainly just doing like K-pop artists and whatnot, and I want to branch out and do some all sorts of, you know, readings for uh, all sorts of people. So if you have any great ideas, Feel free to let me know. Remember to take care of yourselves mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, and sexually. Love and respect yourselves and others. And as always, stay hydrated. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see y'all on the next video. Bye.